Hi, I'm Dr. Amy, also known as the Egg Whisperer. I'm a fertility doctor and I've been helping people grow their families for over 20 years. I got into this field because I saw how fertility was left out of the health conversation and how painful it was for patients to go through infertility feeling totally unsupported. That's why I started the Egg Whisperer Show, my fertility classes, and why I show up here to teach you how to be proactive, not reactive about your fertility. One of the things I'm most excited about right now, the intersection of longevity science and reproductive health. We're finally exploring how medications, for example, like rapamycin, yes, the same one being studied for anti-aging, might actually help slow down ovarian aging. Here's how it works in simple terms. Inside your cells, there's a little switch called mTOR that controls how fast your cells grow and use energy. If mTOR is overactive, your eggs can age faster. Rapamycin can help calm that down. So the idea is by slowing down mTOR, we may be able to keep your eggs healthier, longer. And that could mean more time to have a baby, better egg quality, and a whole new era of reproductive health. But here's the catch. While the science is moving fast, the clinical world moves really slowly. We've got incredible research on things like the microbiome, stem cells, and even AI for picking the best embryo, but they're not reaching patients fast enough. Why? Because we need more funding, more infrastructure, and yes, more people willing to invest in women's health. And let's talk about bottlenecks. One big one, the outdated belief that ovarian aging is inevitable. Spoiler, it's not. We just haven't been funding solutions. Instead, patients, especially women over 40, are often bullied and pushed toward egg donation without any effort to understand why their eggs might not be working. We can do better. We must do better. There are also groups we're still not showing up for. People with PCOS, endometriosis, LGBTQ plus families, single parents by choice, and women navigating perimenopause while still trying to get pregnant. These folks deserve better care, more research, and real solutions. So what does the future look like if we get this right? My dream is that it looks like 25-year-olds getting personalized ovarian health reports, egg freezing as standard preventive care, AI helping choose the best embryos, fertility as part of your wellness routine and not a last resort. And infertility, it won't be treated as a dead end. It'll be seen as a doorway into better health, longer vitality, and empowered choices. If you're passionate about fertility, longevity, and health equity, this is our moment. Let's lead it together. Follow me for more. I'm Dr. Amy, the Egg Whisperer, and I'm here to help you own your fertility future.